Deep down inside me, a tiny voice was calling. At first scarcely audible, it persisted until I could no longer ignore it. It was the voice of the wild places, and I knew that it was now part of me forever. After about three years of coming here, Scotland holds a huge place in my heart. The wild landscape draws me every time and these huge rugged mountains that welcome you. There's so, so, so much exploring to do up here and so much more that I want to do. By boat, by foot, by bike, by car, it's endless. I hope from my videos you can gauge how wild this place feels and how free it makes me feel each time I come here and how much it has embedded a huge imprint on my soul. Today I am in the Scottish Highlands and I'm on the west coast and it is a beautiful day, it's stunning. So I thought I'd take a drive up this beautiful gravel track and come and stay here for the night. So I have been in Scotland for the last week, week and a half and I have been travelling over and also been staying in that mountain hut if you've seen that in my last video. And now I'm here in this beautiful location, looking over the mountains and the locks. But I'm really enjoying this process and the whole overlanding lifestyle, I'm loving it. North, I haven't done a food shop so I've run out and today was one of those days where I just went into Aldi and just put my head down and just cracked on getting a load of shopping that I need. It's definitely a culture shock when you've been spending a lot of time on your own um, in wild places and then you go into a massive supermarket. It's a bit of a shock to the system. Anyway what I'm going to do is unload it all, put it into all my storage baskets and then we're all pushed in.
Landy. It has been such a beautiful day and evening. I woke up in Glencoe this morning, went for a little walk and then drove into Fort William to get some more supplies. I got some bits and bobs like a tin opener and a dustpan and brush, little things like that that I need for inside as well as getting some fuel and getting some food but as you can hear I've now got the diesel heater chugging away and it makes life so much more easier because usually you'd be freezing and you'd probably end up being in your sleeping bag and going to bed about this time but by having light in and the diesel heater it allows me to do other bits and bobs like um, editing or reading or researching different things. As you would have noticed I haven't been uploading on YouTube every week, like every single week and I've been leaving it for like over a week or up to two weeks and sometimes more and I feel like this is a part of growth for myself instead of on here on this platform and I just need it, just a time to balance everything in my life. I'm still 20 and I've got so much stuff that I need to figure out in terms of what I want and my direction and, and things like that and balancing everything can be so difficult sometimes, whatever you do. Having a job and putting a lot of time into a job or a career and focusing on that and then obviously spending time with your family and prioritising that, being around family and spending quality time with them. And then also having a relationship as well that can take up so much time. Especially before this I've been living with Jake for out a lot of last year. And then obviously self care, self time, spending time by yourself, learning who you are and figuring out your path. And spending time on your own adventures and then learning skills. So there's so many different skills and it blows my mind how much there is out there skill wise that you need to learn we don't need to but if you're like me and you want to be good at a lot of different things there's so much to learn and obviously because I do so many hobbies I kind of get spread thin sometimes because I want to know about all these different things and suck up as much information as I can and it's endless it's absolutely endless it scares me but excites me at the same time how much there is to learn and I feel sometimes skill set is so much more valuable than money because your skills will last forever. Obviously they can get a bit rusty but you can always pick them back up again and you'll have them forever and they'll always be up here somewhere but money doesn't. In this field you've got all the mechanics and how to overland and how to fix things and be resourceful and inventive and then with hiking you've got navigation and energy management and being alone how it is being on your own and how to set, set up a tent and purify water to drink out of a river and things like that and then bushcraft and all the valuable skills and the wholesome skills you learn from bushcraft with firelighting and all the different forms of that and primitive shelters and traps and hunting and archery and it's endless and then the list goes on and on. I guess I've been trying to figure out my place and where I am at the minute in my head and in life and in this forever changing world where I am. It is a very strange place at the minute and I guess we can all agree with that and I guess it's coming together and supporting one another and I love all the help and support that I get off the comments and off my Patreons and there's so many lovely and like-minded people out there and I love sharing my adventures and seeing the such beautiful comments that I get back that inspire me to make more content. Obviously I do get a lot of crap but I've really got to a point in my life and a point of doing this job that I couldn't really care anymore about them horrible comments. I think because I started this so young and I'm 
grown such a thick skin so I'm just used to people are going to have their opinions, people are going to hate, people are going to get jealous, people are going to disagree and that's fine. We are humans and you can express yourself. I just wanted to say thank you for a lot of those who support me. I really appreciate you guys. But I am so fortunate and so grateful to be here in the middle of the Highlands in such a beautiful and remote spot and be sat in the back of my landy with the diesel heater going and just being in my element. beautiful morning. This is absolutely stunning. It was very very cold when I woke up and then come out to this thick blanket of frost. So this morning before the sun come up I was like oh it's so cold it's so chilly out here and then um, I've just been looking now at the temperature because I was really interested. And currently at the minute, it's minus four and it's warmed up so, so much from what it was earlier. For the rest of the day, I was looking at the map of places that I'd like to visit whilst I'm up here, as well as going for a little walk and exploring the local area. When I got back to Percy, I had a big sort out and started prepping my bike and some of my kit for some adventures coming up. It's been such a beautiful day yet again. I've been absolutely blessed with the weather. It is so, so gorgeous. I find on chilled days like this, it's the best way to finish it with a fire. It's just something so wholesome about splitting wood, making feather sticks and getting a fire going. and seen the northern lights I've never seen the northern lights before and it's been on my bucket list I sort of saw them when I was near Cape Raff two years ago but I just went outside and the colours are mental good morning electrics this morning and we're very very low what a beautiful couple days and i cannot believe that i saw the northern lights last night i'm actually moving on today which i'm a little bit sad about because i feel i could spend weeks here just going on walks bike rides fishing chilling out Also, if you're interested, this is the Easy On Bat 270 degree awning and it's been ace. It's been so good. 
really easy to set up obviously it's freestanding it's lovely that it covers such a big space of the land so from my back door all the way around and it's one unit really nice color i don't like tops or awnings that are really dark colors and you feel a bit claustrophobic especially when it's a dark grim day really good waterproof material and it's a nice thick canvas and it obviously fits in that lovely bag that sits on the side there that black bag that's waterproof so yeah gonna pack up and uh, hit the road again It was a shame to be leaving such a beautiful spot up that gravel track but I came across this lovely pull-in next to this lock and I knew that I had to stay here the night and hopefully get my pack raft out the following morning. I came to Scotland to sort of get away from it, just time to really reflect and think and just have my own thoughts, as well as being surrounded by such beauty, raw beauty, as well as growing my independence within Percy and creating some pretty wicked content of my travels up here so far in Percy, which has honestly been the highlight of my year. So, so much for watching this episode of my time in Scotland. Next time we will be heading north and exploring some new and wild places. Thanks again. Thank you to all my patrons for making this possible. Take care and see you on the next one.